question is, where is the prize? Mmm, seems to be a lot of BMWs here. You know what that means? Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, Luke Wright. So... Whoa. Uh, yeah, it's a, a lovely experience. Really nice to um, pop over and see BMW Motorrad. And yeah, lovely. Really good. And um, loved it to bits. So thank, thanks for watching. The great had his coffee, so that's good. That's good. He said his coffee. He said his coffee. Yeah. He said his coffee. Mm. It's showtime. Mm. Yeah. It's showtime. Welcome everybody. The grind to BMW Motor Rad Bristol. So yeah, this is the home of BMW motorcycles and you got this huge line of demonstrators uh, this is a Tora 1000 cc called the S1000XR inline 4 very fast very comfortable you got those upright bars here a lot of wind protection you got a lot of fairings directing the air away from you makes cruising a nice nice smooth experience competent suspension latest star from BMW which is the uh, indicators as well as the rear lights is built into this stalk here and uh, wow it looks like the protective film on the screen may still be there you got the LED lights as well. Massive Brembo's up front. Now what you're looking at here is the Super Naked by BMW. N94. That's pretty. The what BMW have done there. What an interesting colour. It's quite a grey, a grey colour. It's new edition. It's quite pretty. And then you've got a Grand Tourer K600 GT. And then you've got a Tourer Tourer. Then you've got uh, Adventure, single side swing arm. Um, smaller version GS850 in trophy colours um, and then you've got this hmm, it's a difficult one isn't it? it is it could you class it as a super naked no you can't but it is and you'd say well why is that mm, that's because the S1000R has more power and more torque. But big, big naked gold Brembos, motorsport colour scheme. It's gorgeous to look at. Single side swing arm. Imagine having a lovely full system there, and that would really show off the single side swing arm. Shaft drive, so no chain to worry about. And then you've got a classic off-roader. You've got a muscle bike here. And then you've got a little baby bike when you're starting out in your motorcycling world. It's a nice motorcycle to start out with. And again, big, big muscle bike. Um, and then you've got what would have been classed as the super naked of the day classic hark back to BMW's days and then you've got uh, again demonstrator 
and then you've got what would have been classed as the super naked of the day and then again adventure adventure cool so it's um pretty nice you gotta love the XR and uh, the S thousand dot looks great very beautiful and LED lights as well and then big Brembo's so yeah you're greeted quite quite nicely and then you walk in and you get to see even more motorcycles get to see an R1250 Tora, Grand Tora, Tora, um, and then you've got super bikes, S1000 double R, or super bike, race bike with lights, and the crack colours as well, BMW Motorsport being a super bike. And it's even got a rear cover, which is brilliant. Quite a few, eh? Mm. And this is, ah, right, this is the M Sport edition. So, what you have are these upgraded super bright calipers, carbon wheels, carbon. Interesting. And just a few extra upgrades. Again, that's got the rear seat cover, which is ideal. And you've got those machine bits as well. The electronic suspension. Cool. And then you've got um, another Super Naked by BMW. This is the M1000R. Look at that carbon. That carbon is so smooth. Very expensive carbon, that. Very pretty. Very aggressive. And then you got your adventures pretty cool and you got BMW gear as well <laughs> take me home if you're starting out motorcycling that is always a really good idea and again you got a super naked of the day wow so you've got the high-rise link pipe uh, but that end can is Euro 5. So because it's Euro 5, you can't take out the baffle without drilling out these rivets, drilling them out. Knowing anyone that would take the risk and would actually be willing to do that, to remove that, this uh, band here, you've got to take away the carbon shroud to see where and the nutters. Um, the only other option you have is that if you are super rich then buy these two end cans identical and then take the first end can and just drill holes in that stunning acroprovic carbon fibre until you find the um, nut that's actually holding the baffle in place. Luke Rides is very lucky he has the R19 Racer, classic superbike, but uh, we were able to find a removable baffle. So she is loud. 1200 cc's. Shaft drives, so no chain to worry about. 
modern fuel injection, modern computer systems, but in that huck back to how things used to be. Which is pretty cool, really. And that is so American. <laughs> That's exactly what the Americans would do. <laughs> hey, have a big long motorcycle. But uh, yeah, muscle bikes, 1800 cc's. 1800 on a motorcycle. I mean, just, just the cylinders alone are like this, oh, like sculpture. Um, and even though these look like push rods, they're not. BMW have made this this look here, but it's not push rod. It's a modern valve valve unit. Can't look at that gearbox. <laughs> it's so big. It is quite a thing, that quite a thing. So yeah, and then you got again super naked. Wow, that is the best colour scheme. That is the most beautiful colour scheme. Moke Sport, BMW. That's just right. And you've got these very special machined M calipers for the BMW Super Naked. And you've got these ducts, these windlets as well to channel the air in a very Pacific way. She just looks powerful, real big presence, and that lovely seat cover as well, rear seat delete, which is what you'd expect on the Super Naked. The pillion's not going to hold on to that. No, the amount of torque and power. Oh yeah, gold chain, very nice. Oh behave. Very special. And then we've got here, hark back to what would have been the super naked of the day. And then XR, Satouring, and then when you're starting out on motorcycling. And that is your general view of what it's like to come to BMW Motor at Bristol. It's a lovely experience. You love motorcycles and you're a petrol head. Mm. This, it's just fun being here. And then you got all this gear as well. So you can have a BMW jacket, vest, jacket, jacket, boots, shoes, boots, helmets, pinlock as well. Definitely want to have a pinlock. And then BMW boots, you got your road going version, and then you've got a more adventure off-road style. You can even have BMW trousers. That's really nice. That's really nice. But yeah. And you got the original Gen 1 S1000 double R super points. Interesting little changes that BMW have made. Go from the two, it's quite a difference. Rear section changed, frame not so much, engine changed. That superbike engine looks different, noticeably different on the next generation. But still, if you're looking for a super bike, this is very fast. They're very frightening, these. The power and torque, Ooh. 200 miles an hour. Work around that. Um, and then BMW helmets again. Helmets. Big off roader. Hello, GS. <gasps> Off road. Super naked. Super naked. 
That's thousand bell. God, it looks so pretty. It's a work of art, that. It's motorsport colours that are just oh, perfect. And red is still quite pretty as well. It's a nice gloss of red. Very German. So yeah, a lot to see and a lot to like. A lot to look at. So yeah, we've... Whoa! Hello. That's interesting. Revision? Interesting. Wow. <laughs> Where's seat delete? That's not. Hmm. Yeah, what a super bike. So yeah, it's a very fun experience. If you're passing by, come over, say hi, and come and see BMW Motorrad. If you're thirsty, you've covered a lot of miles, and you're a motorcyclist, you can pop over, and also have a nice coffee. Which is very kind. After those sort of miles, definitely need a coffee. There's no food, but just having a coffee or a cup of tea is um, it's very kind. Pleasure of BMW Motorrad to do that. Because it's costing BMW Motorrad money to maintain that coffee and tea machine and it does put out some pretty nice coffee it's that easy and then you can just sit down <laughs> just see all the all the motorcycles super naked, super bikes RTs whoa Taurus Road GS is quite a sign. Thanks for watching. Well, hello everyone. Luke, Luke Rides is back. Um, we're back, and now Autumn Park is over. We need to get ourselves back to base, so we're going to do that now. Let's drive. Thanks for watching, everybody. At Luke Rides, it, uh, it's been a long drive been pretty tricky it's been pretty difficult because there's been so many long road works going on for five six seven sometimes over 10 miles at just 50 miles an hour you know, really slow um so yeah it's been been a hell of a day man been a hell of a day but um we're now back to base so that's great I'm gonna try and bring in some more get some work done and thanks for watching the way we... The little rascal has spirit. Has water. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. 
let's head back to base.